Hello guys, good day to all. Merry Christmas to everyone who are watching our video for today. And this is our uh, weather analysis for this Christmas day until the 28th of December 2025, Thursday to Sunday. This is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. If you would like the Tagalog version, just uh, click on the link here. And if you're watching via Facebook, uh, just uh, search our Mike, Mr. Typhoon, by the way, channel. And also, uh, we would like to thank our partners about this power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainability. If you're interested, just click on the link here to know more about BPI Sustainability uh, Program. And if you're watching via Facebook, just go to the description for more details on BPI. And uh, the local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor, Lenny Robredo, and our Honorable Vice Mayor, Gabi Bordado. Well, it looks like during our last uh, video analysis last week, uh, we told you that it will be a good Christmas day, and it turned out right. There's still some showers in isolated fashion in most parts of the country. We cannot rule that out since we have a weak La Nina. But we have another surge of the northeast monsoon coming uh, down across uh, northern and uh, parts of central Luzon. And uh, you can uh, see here on our latest graph set we issued yesterday. This is valid until Saturday, December 27. So the uh, uh, focus of the northeast monsoon is uh, currently here over northern and portions of central Luzon. While the rest of Luzon, Bicol region, Mimaropa, Visayas, Sulu Archipelago, we have the weak uh, northeast monsoon known as northeasterly wind flow. So these areas will have good weather with some passing uh, diesels or showers, not much of uh, thunderstorms. The thunderstorms are more concentrated in the vicinity of Mindanao and the southern Visayas due to the convergence mm -hmm. of the easterlies with the northeasterly wind flow not yet a uh, uh, shear line because the shear line is uh, currently here over north of guam and there's another one forming here over the north philippine sea so far so good we are experiencing some pleasant weather but a warm christmas day i hope you're in good hands and i hope you are with your loved ones this uh, and uh, the rest of your family this holiday season and our prayers has been answered we are experiencing some good weather this christmas day there's a surge of the northeast monsoon like i said and it is expected to uh, uh, move across uh, luzon within the next 48 hours we have the uh, fast animation from the university of wisconsin tropical cyclone page and there are some thunderstorms here due to the easterlies of uh, Mindanao, okay, particularly some Banga Peninsula, okay, as of the moment. And uh, for the uh, zoom in satellite animation from uh, Windy, there are some portions of light showers here over the eastern coastal waters of the Bicol region and also across the Visayas. These are light, uh, isolated rain showers. Not much of a thunderstorm so far, okay? And uh, most of the thunderstorms are concentrated here over the area of uh, Mindanao, particularly the uh, western sections like uh, Sambonga Peninsula. Now let's uh, begin with our wind forecast and pressure uh, from windy.com. This is from the ECMWF uh, model. And uh, for the next uh, couple of days, Tomorrow, we have a surge of northeast monsoon over northern and parts of central Luzon. And it will uh, be expected until uh, Saturday, December 27. The rest of Luzon, Bicol, Visayas, Mimaropa will have the light northeasterly wind flow. And the possibility of a shear line here over the uh, north central part of the Philippine Sea. And on Sunday, there is a possibility of a wind shear here over the north, uh, the central parts of the Philippine Sea, north of uh, Guam. But uh, the rest of the Philippines will be either easterlies over Visayas and Mindanao and northeasterly wind flow over Luzon and Mimaropa. And uh, on the 29th and 30th, we'll be experiencing 
still the northeasterly wind flow uh, shoreline is uh, somewhat weak over the uh, uh, Philippine Sea. If you're asking where will, will be the uh, next blast or surge of northeast monsoon, the strong one most likely come uh, January 6. Look at that, January 6, 7, and 8, there might be a surge of northeast monsoon across the zone in Visayas, so watch out for that. Let's hope it will not produce any uh, wind. Uh, Shearline, okay, we will let you know in the coming days. Those who are asking, how about uh, New Year's Eve? Uh, it will be pleasant. East release, okay, across the country, just the same like uh, today, Christmas Day. And on January 1, it will be calm all throughout the country. So it's a perfect Christmas and New Year's Day celebration. Now let's take a look at the wind. Uh, now let's take a look at the rain, uh, 24 hour rainfall forecast accumulation from ECMWF so far for the next uh, 24 hours. By uh, tomorrow, Friday, December 26, we have the, the Northeast Monsoon bringing some showers of 50 to about 100 millimeters of the coastal waters of Northern Cagayan. And on uh, Saturday, um, December 27, possibility of a shear line here moving away decreasing rainfall over extreme northern zone while uh, possible uh, northeasterly wind flow and easterlies bring some showers over eastern Visayas and eastern Mindanao and also parts of Palawan and on Sunday more uh, thunderstorms will be expected over the Visayas and uh, eastern Mindanao because of the easterly wind flow and on Monday, still same situation. And on uh, Tuesday, uh, December 30th, more thunderstorms here over Sulu Archipelago and uh, Palawan. And also the western sections of Mindanao. The rest will have showers as well. Afternoon or evening, isolated ones because of the easterlies. And uh, it will be that way. Okay. And... Uh, if we take a look at the wave forecast so far, uh, the wave heights will uh, dramatically increase for the next two to three days until the weekend because of the northeast, the northeast monsoon here over the uh, Lusono area. So wave heights of up to three meters will be expected over the East Philippine Sea as well as the West Philippine Sea. While those uh, over the inland waters of a country will remain calm to about a meter in wave height so suitable for fishing and sea travel okay so uh, let's take a look at the global tropics hazards outlook this is the latest one um, issued yesterday valid for the next uh, two to three weeks we're in uh, the third week is around uh, uh, less than 20 percent or low probability and uh, uh, week two december 31 to january 6 uh, philippines particularly Mindanao, Visayas, and uh, parts of uh, Palawan. And uh, Sulu Archipelago will have uh, above average rainfall of more than uh, around 50%, while Luzon will have dry conditions of 50% as well. While the third week, valid January 7 to January 13, most of the country will remain in normal weather conditions. So nothing to worry about. And uh, so far, that's the uh, forecast. It's all clear all throughout uh, the New Year's Eve celebration. So that ends our update for today, uh, December 25th. Again, Merry Christmas to all. I hope you have a blessed uh, uh, Christmas day with your loved ones and your friends. And hope for more peaceful uh, 2026 ahead. This is Mike Padua. See you again uh, uh, probably by Sunday or Monday for another update. And uh, thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless to all.